How's it going everyone? Welcome back. We are uh, just about a week away from the NFL Draft. Lots of talk about mock drafts. Lots of talk about the guys the Bengals should take in the first round. Lots of talk about the Bengals needs in the first round. But how about, let's play a little devil's advocate here and let's say what's the position the Cincinnati Bengals need to absolutely avoid in the first round. Not the entire draft. But in the first round, what is your one position that the Bengals need to absolutely avoid? Obviously, ruling out the quarterback position. Duh. Slam dunk. Any other position. Um, I mean, I'll look across the board and say, hey, you can bring in a stud safety. You can bring in a stud stud CB. You can bring in a stud D lineman. You can bring in a stud offensive line. There's places on this team for all of them. Except for one position. That position to me is the running back position. Um, Quite frankly, it's just... I don't see that running back position making the elite impact any of these other positions are. I mean, if you could get an elite player at any other position, drafting best possible available if something falls through and you say, okay, what can we do with an elite CB or what can we do with an elite uh, wide receiver or an elite lineman? It's like, okay, the options are endless. As far as an elite running back goes, yeah, it's going to make a difference. Sure. But it's just not the system that this team's being built and ran around. And it's not the system you want it to be built and ran around. You want Joe Burrow throwing this football 40 times a game. Maybe more. Because he's that dang good. So when you say a position of need and you say a necessity on this team, the running back position, it's obviously important that you have guys that can fit roles and they can find guys that can fit their roles. But it's not a team that needs to lean on and rely on an elite run game. You want to lean on and rely on an elite passing game protecting Joe Burrow because if you can protect Joe Burrow, if he has time to sling that football, it's going to be easy for just about anybody running that football because they're always going to have soft boxes. And that's where you say, okay, it's more important to have the specialty running backs because you want the guys that can do the sh- down and distance, short, short down and distance. You want the guys that can do the short goal to dist or goal to goes. But you don't necessarily need to waste a first round pick on that when you can fill so many other voids in this team. So many other voids where positions are going to cost you a lot more in the future. And I think that's important too. It's just not about the price and what the effectiveness of the running back is, but it's just the fact that if you get an elite cornerback, you're going to have to pay him double what you would a really good running back. And you say, if you can get that under contract for four or five years, I think that's really important. So I think for me personally, you run away from the running back. And again, I, we've we talked about this time and time again, well documented how practically every Super Bowl win over the last decade does not pay their running backs. They have a cheap running back course. Do they have some running backs that are drafted and younger? Sure. Are they uh, expending a lot of money on the driving back position? No, they're trying to find a couple. You know, the guy that can do the good. Bl- you got the good blocking back. You got the down and distance back. If one goes can do that and be your first and second down back. That's great. But you don't necessarily need to pay out the rear end. To get all of that, it's been proven time and time again. And I think, you know, it's just, it's really like anything else in life. You have the choice to be complacent and to be stubborn and and not accept change. Or you have a chance to adapt. You have a chance to evolve with everyone else and you have a chance to grow. That is what's going on in the NFL right now. There is clearly, as years and years go on and on and on, we are going from a running league to a passing league to a passing league to a passing league. It's becoming more and more and more every single year. And again, adapt with the times. Worry about protecting your quarterback. Worry about that passing game. Worry about the defense and get an average to whatever running back. Go ahead and win yourself a Super Bowl. Or you can go out and try to do what you know some of these other teams have done, trying to be a dominant run team without a quarterback. And fall in the conference champion not even a comp when did the titans fall you know i think that's my big thing it's like what if you did draft derrick henry now if you drafted derrick henry arguably the best running back in the league over the last you know five six years if you drafted him this year what would you do if he's the Bengals? i you wouldn't play all three downs you want to you want to drop waste the first round draft pick on the guy that's not play all three downs because he's not a catching back he's just not he hasn't been in his career nothing against him absolute stud on first and second down not a receiving back Absolute stud on the ground. Good luck stopping him. Sure. But it's just the value thing where you say, hey, if you could pick, you, you could sign a Derek and roll him all over it. Don't get me wrong. But it's like the usage you're going to get out of these players with the first round draft pick and the chance that this guy is a Derek Henry. Let's remember that as well. The chance this guy's going to be a Derek Henry opposed to a Clyde Edwards Elaire or something, right? And I think that's why you say you got you to gotta avoid running back. 
you can find somebody solid in a second. Bengals done a really good job in years past finding uh, running backs in a second round. You got a guy in the second, get a guy in the third. And you get four plus yards per carry, four and a half yards per carry, more than doable, I think, behind a good offensive line and with this quarterback. You're happy with that. And I think you can do that by building up the offensive line or going after, I, you know, I'm not big on tight end first round, way big on tight end and running back. So that's me. That's my personal opinion. Everybody's different. I'm avoiding that position. Would you, who are you guys avoiding? Love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.